seven years old, I said, Mom, Dad, I want a motorcycle. And that's how my smoke ring started. That one question. Well, my parents bluffed me and said, go get a job and earn the money for it. They didn't think I'd do it. I wound up getting that paper route and slinging newspapers and riding my bicycle through the neighborhood. When I was doing that, I always found myself slowing that bicycle down. They were cooking outside. I was breathing deeper. I got a passion for it right then. But I was that nosy little kid, and I walked up to that neighbor, tugged on his pants leg, said, what you doing? Wound up being a local man in Cookville, Tennessee named Tony Stone. Now, Tony was a competition barbecue cook, but also went on to become the president of the Kansas City Barbecue Society, which is the world's largest barbecue organization. He was the first non-founding president, but he didn't know all that he had inspired me in that few minutes he took to tell me what he was doing. I actually, by the time I was eight, was finishing dinner for my parents when they got home from work. So I continued cooking for 35 years, and I wound up honing my craft, getting live fire cooking where we actually take any form of live fire, and I can cook, it's all heats and eats, so I apply it, even do my great-grandmother's uh, cheesecake on the grill. So as far as that goes, a week before he passed, my mother went over and shared that story with him to let him know that the time he took was so valuable that it inspired my life and gave me my career. What I do is I actually, anything live fire cooking, whether it's out there um, private chefing, whether it's creating menus and cookbooks, videos for corporations, but I also have Get Fired Up Foods, this outdoor cooking classroom. Now, when I'm cooking in Tennessee, I love to go to places like Porter Road Butcher. Now, what that means is a connection. My family grew up in East Nashville, actually on Porter Road. Now, Porter Road Butcher is not located directly on Porter Road, it's right nearby. But the way that they approach things, it's the, it's the way that farm to fork movement feels, you know? It's an emotional feeling when you're doing that kind of good and that kind of eats and heats. Uh, when you approach the, the meat and you actually get to see them taking and butchering in an old style and custom cutting what you want, that means a lot because it's an emotional tie all the way through. It's emotional because we're in the kitchen. That's the hub of the house, right? The grill, that's where we all go and flare our chests out and strike up a fire. But it's all tied in and it's the love of food. And Porter Road Butcher carries that forward with what their process is. In nine months a year, I travel the pro barbecue circuit because I coach the three-time world champs in steak. I'm the only grill master for Beef It's What's For Dinner, Bull Grills, which is a Tennessee-based company, by the way. Athens, Tennessee, they have a plant. Then Orca Coolers out of Franklin, Tennessee. They actually build the coolers in Sparta with Jackson Kayak. Then also Ergo Chef Knives, Heinz, and Coca-Cola. So I'm quite the, the notable grill master as far as steak goes. Everybody gives me a call and they can find out the tips. As far as, as finding the right beef, it's also relationships. Just like you've got in a relationship with your doctor, your attorney, whatever it may be, you also want to have a relationship with that farmer. It's a trust. What have you done with the beef? What have you fed it? What's that process? And then when they've told you and shared that process and you feel good about it, you can know that the processing plant will actually take good care because they actually want to have the most calm and comfortable situation when they're processing that meat. It makes for more tender meat too, and they want to definitely get you that. There's a growing trend in, in America and we're looking more towards healthier living and as far as, as finding those sources for good food. We're, we see all the shows, we feel all the emotions tied to it when we have events and things, but we're trying to get better food. And the great thing is, is when you go farm to fork, meaning you go to the farm that you actually purchase it from, see what the beef looks like, see what it is, and then it goes through the process. You take it home, eat it with your fork, it's a fantastic, you know what's in it, you know what it's eaten, it's experiences, the healthiness, all that well-being and, and all that great beef flavor and well, it doesn't matter the product, there's eggs, there's everything, I mean, all the farm produce that uh, is being sold in those, those beautiful little sheds on the roadside, it's fantastic. One of my dreams at Get Fired Up Foods was to build an outdoor cooking classroom. It's how I got inspired in my smoke ring to actually start down my barbecue path. So I wanted to teach folks. Now this outdoor cooking classroom has a little bit of everything. We can cook on live fire directly on coals. We can cook on ceramic cookers. And whether it's, it's directly on campfire style cooking with Dutch ovens or directly on those coals and embers, 
or whether we're going to come to these ceramic cookers which actually radiate a lot of heat inside. Now you can smoke on these, you can grill on these. Now smoking is a lower temperature, grilling's hot and fast. And then you can even bake on these. Now these are oval shaped so it actually gives you more capacity. Once it gets heated up to that temperature, it's going to continue to heat for a long time. It takes very little fuel to maintain. This one typically uses lump charcoal, which is straight wood charcoal, or briquettes, which you might find in bags and stores. Now going from a ceramic cooker, we actually have a, a bunch of different styles here. I'm going to take you to one you might recognize. It's what a lot of folks have in their backyard with a propane grill. Now with propane, again, it's heats and eats, but it's the convenience of the fuel. You just turn it on, warm it up to a preheated temp, 15 minutes, you're cooking. With what we do with a propane grill, we can do it all. Because you've got multiple burners, you can actually smoke and cook indirectly. You can cook directly, which is a grilling technique. And then you also can bake because you can use water baths or insulating uh, uh, water pans to shield from the direct heat. And so you'll get more convection just like you do inside in your oven. Now going from a propane grill, we're going to take you over to one that I'm particularly fond of. Now this is actually going to cook with charcoal, wood, you can use a variety of fuels. Now this was started with a company that created it from the bottom of a buoy, so it looks like a kettle. Now this kettle grill will be what I show you how to cook great steaks on in just a few minutes. What we've done is preheated the uh, charcoal and put it in there from a chimney into the unit. We'll be cooking on that in just minutes. 